Everything explained in this video is summarized from the coin market cap. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for future XRP news and some other cryptocurrency news in general. So now take a look at this. Gary Gensler not done yet after SEC boss trolls Cryptoverse with Resi. Gary Gensler, chairman of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission C, and one of the most notorious opposition figures in the cryptocurrency industry, sent the cryptocurrency community into a frenzy on Wednesday by deceiving them into thinking that he was going to resign from his position at the CC through a threat on X. Irrespective of the multiple large litigation battles with Coinbase, Ripple, XRP, and other entities, the chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission appears to have a wicked sense of humor. To add insult to injury, his enforcement approach to crypto legislation is coming under increasing public scrutiny. Not yet finished as is typical for resignations, the thread on X begins with Gensler expressing his gratitude for the honor of serving as the chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. The more than 2,000 enforcement actions that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has filed, the many billions of dollars in fines that have been collected, and the new legislative rules that have been introduced under his stewardship are all things that he fondly recalls. Gensler, on the other hand, possesses previously undiscovered talent for comedic timing, which has caused the cryptoverse to express its dismay. Many people do not consider Gensler to be one of the most prominent proponents of cryptocurrency. Hester Pierce, better known as Crypto Mom, is one of the many people who have voiced their disapproval of the Securities and Exchange Commission's exec enforcement only approach to cryptocurrency, which not only hinders the competitiveness of the United States, but also the sector as a whole. The achieved results of Genslery. As a result of Gensler's leadership, the number of crypto enforcement actions taken by the SEC in 2023 reached a decade high of 46, which is twice as many as in 2021. How Gensler regulates cryptocurrency is regarded as being quite harsh, and he has made it known that he thinks that cryptocurrency is rife with instances of fraud and manipulation because he has presided over some of the most catastrophic crypto disasters in the history of the world. This assertion merits consideration. The investigations into FTX and Binance, which resulted in the CEO of FTX, uh, Sam Bankman fried WSBA, being sentenced to 25 years in prison, were handled by Gensler when he was serving as head of the SEC. Even though change paying Jeezy Zhao, the former CEO of Binance, is anticipated to have his criminal sentencing hearing on April 30, 2024, Gensler has already achieved several significant triumphs. On the other hand, the majority of these are in criminal cases. Ripple and Coinbase are two different landmark lawsuits that are part of the regulatory side of the state securities and exchange commissions exceed multiple courtroom dramas. These cases may establish a precedent for the classification and regulation of crypto tokens, as well as the point at which they are considered securities. This precedent will have significant repercussions for the future of cryptocurrencies, exchanges, brokerages, and other related entities. Gensler was nominated to the chair of the SEC by President Joe Biden in 2021 and is set to serve until April 2026. That said, it is normal for the SEC chair to quit if a new president is elected, which could be happening in November this year. With a fresh action pending for decentralized finance, DeFi platform, Uniswap, and the potential for the Ripple case to reach the Supreme Court 2024 could be the largest year of Gensler's career in one way or another. In what has sparked a social media buzz, Gary Gensler, chair of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, now wrote a confusing tweet that had many scratching their heads. Initially, some believed he might be stepping down, but as the dust settled, it turned out Gensler's message was more about recommending to his work at the ESSEC, ads and promotions. So what did he say and why has it left everyone wondering what is to come? Here's a breakdown. The tweet that shook us all while Gensler was expressing his thanks for his tenure as chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission seat, he also acknowledged the hard work that the SEC staff has put in to serve investors and issuers. However, what truly drew notice to him was his closing statement, which read, and we're not done, this sparked a flurry of reactions and quickly went viral, with over 1.1 million views as people attempted to decipher the meaning of what it was. Moreover, additionally, D. Cowan anticipates that Gary Gensler will continue to work on crypto matters. The reactions and interpretations of the community, the cryptocurrency community, reacted in a variety of ways to Gensler's tweet. Others considered his speech to be painfully ambiguous, while others applauded his cleverness in communicating. The initial misconception that it produced was brought to light by the fact that 
One cryptocurrency dealer referred to it as a legendary troll thread. In the meantime, Elliot Steen of Bloomberg commented on Gensler's propensity for engaging in fun antics. Scott Johnson, who works for Van Buren Capital, provided an additional contribution to the discussion by expressing his worries regarding the tweet's emphasis on enforcement activities, which could potentially eclipse broader regulatory goals. Efforts and results of the Enforcement Department, the Securities and Exchange Commission, increased its enforcement efforts during Gensler's tenure, filing nearly 2,000 cases that resulted in substantial fines and disgorgements amounting to more than $6 billion. Notably, the Securities and Exchange Commission took action against cryptocurrency companies by filing a record 46 complaints in 2018. Some people criticized the strategy for being excessively harsh, even though it was praised for its efforts. Do you know that WSA and Ripple reach a a settlement the Securities and Exchange Commission come, cool, has demanded a penalty of $2 billion. What comes next? While Gensler was in charge of enforcement, he also oversaw the finalization of 38 rules that were designed to improve marketing openness and efficiency. Gensler's SEC agenda. Looking ahead, Gensler described the SEC's intentions, including attempts to enhance market structures and beef up cybersecurity. These ongoing initiatives show the SEC's determination to ensure fair and transparent markets vital for investor protection and economic prosperity. Gary Gensler, the current chairman of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Remax, is projected to depart by early 2025 as per 10x research. 10x research recent analysis reveals that with President Joe Biden stepping aside from the presidential race, the political climate is ready for a significant upheaval. Firm's creator Marcus Thielen thinks that Donald Trump, who seems uh, certain to win the upcoming election due to the lack of a strong opposition, would likely enter office in January 2025. Despite Gensler's term being extended until June 5, 2026, the idea is that he will step down in January or February 2025, corresponding with the transition to a new presidential administration. Thielen's study notes that historically, a new administration in the White House generally leads to changes in important regulatory posts, including the SEC chair. Implications for the cryptocurrency market, the idea of a pro-crypto administration under Trump is considered a favorable development for digital assets. The paper also discusses potential bullish drivers for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Thielen observes that rumors and stories imply Trump would make a huge statement at the forthcoming Bitcoin convention in Nashville. Tennessee slated for July 25. The 10X research founder urges investors to remain careful as Bitcoin might see a parabolic move. In the coming months, with its previous all-time high of $68,300 potentially serving as a new benchmark, the information that has been provided is not intended to be trading advice. There is no responsibility for any investments that are made based on the information that is provided on this page before making any decision about investments. We strongly advise conducting independent research and user consulting with a knowledgeable professional.